Hi everybody, I'm back in the studio again today. Um, I'm going to do a modified bloom. Um, well, <laughs> I say it like I know what I'm doing. I do sort of know what I'm doing, but also um, I'm a novice. I never proclaim to be an expert um, in any shape or form. Anyway, so I'm using my Valspar uh, Brilliant White without air bubbles. Nice good dollar for that. Oh, I never know. Never know how much to use. Okay. So as I'm using the Valspar, I'll be using my Boom Gels. And I'm going for, this is a beautiful colour, look at that, parrot fish green. Can you see that, folks? I hope you can see that, parrot fish green. Actually, I can see in the camera, it looks a lot bluer it, 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 than it actually is. It's more like an emerald, deep emerald green. And then I've got um, Mulga Parrot Green, which is, that's pretty much the same as what you can see on the screen. Then I've got Pearlescent Teal, um, which is pretty much correct as well. And this is Galar Grey, but it sort of seemed to have a sort of mauvey hint and a blue hint to it. So let's see what happens with that. I'm not quite sure how that's going to go. So um, how are we going? Oh dear, we're losing some paint. Never mind. I've got a little blob there but that will spin off. I'm going to do a smaller bloom or maybe two blooms and put them colours in different orders and um, let's see what happens really. I, I'm Like I say I'm just sort of beginning to get to grips with this so I'm going to do a little bit there and a little bit oh there, a little bit there. That's the parrotfish green. <laughs> Look how I've messed up the bottle already. I'm so messy. It's ridiculous. Then I'm going to go with some pearlescent teal. The good thing about these paints is no... Oh, that's a very similar colour, but never mind. Oops. There's no um, mixing. It is great fun. Then I'm going to go with my Galar Grey. I feel like I should have a punch of something completely different as a contrast in here. Oh, it's a bit runny. Um, and then a bit of, no, I've done that one, haven't I? Um, Mulga Parrot Green. What do you think, guys? What would give that a punch? I'm going to put some white in there. Um, where's my white? This is my white, Sterling Wax White. I have a new one out of that. Need some more. Oh, too much. Dear, dear, never mind. Um, I'll use the black activator again, I think. You see that lovely big bubble? Let me pop that out. Where's my little stick on? Lost my stick. Let's use my big one. Big one. There we go. Um. <laughs> Can't believe my phone's Oh my goodness. Well, I always said it's going to be warts and all. So it is what it is. Hmm, that's not good, does it? I'm going to use a bit more cell activator there because that's completely disappeared in there. I think that white was a bit thin. Not happy with that bit in the middle, so I'm gonna grab my stick. Aha, I beat you now. Well, that certainly helped, I think. I sort of feel like, let me give this a, 
uh, you should be like two um, different colour um, blooms in between. So let's go for, um, where is it, magenta sort of um, colour. Right, this one is burgundy, but it comes out a lovely magenta colour. Um, let's go for some watermelon. It's a lovely colour. Pearlescent, that is. And a bit of uh, Lily Pilly Pink, if I can find you. Is that it? This is <laughs> you can't really see a thing there, can you? There we go, Lily Pilly Pink. And with a bit of white on the top again, I think. Okay, so let's see. I'm just going with a little bit. Go with the watermelon. A bit of lily pilly. I'm trying to make these videos sort of quite short to the point because I don't think it serves any purpose to waffle. Um, it is everything you see is as it is. And that's it, that's much better. Um, and a little drop of my cell activator in the middle. Oh, excuse me while I, I pop an air bubble and then blow. Here we go again. my blower. I think I will. It's um keep my whites very thin. See the blacks there. It's just a matter of making it do its job. Do your thing. Okay. It's lovely colours on the green. I'm just going to give this a gentle spin to see where it's stuck together, where it goes. And that's gentle. I sort of want them to merge a bit. Okay, I quite like that. Um, air bubble I love that one I sort of want to spin it a bit more but I don't want to throw all these lovely colors off so it's a bit of a dilemma um, I know some people would let me tilt this see if it goes I sort of just don't want to lose any of the color I guess you do sooner or later right I'm gonna do a little bit of modifying which is basically using this bamboo um, stick barbecue stick um, I think uh, that this is pretty good. I also use the back end of a paintbrush, which is also really good. Um, if the paint's a bit thicker and you want a little bit more definition, which I think I might need for this one, um, first of all, to give me a bit of a guide, um, this is what I learned from Milky Way. You sort of give yourself a bit of a, um, a lead in, if you like. Um, so I think I might come like that. I'll pop every time. Give this one a little bit of a lead in somewhere as well. Let's put the stick down. Um, let's go, where should we go with this one? I think I'll go. What? This one is going to go right 
and this one is going to go okay so from here I'm going to make some petals which is quite easy but I think the trick with this is knowing when to stop um, knowing yeah basically knowing when enough's enough it's quite hard because once you get going you actually just want to keep doing it it's such fun so let's just bring this one in a bit and here and I sort of want to do a bit of a curly whirly and then bring the petals into that I don't sort of wipe it completely off every time because sometimes it, you know, if you leave a little trace, it's actually quite pretty. See, can you see that there? Um, I like that as it is actually. I feel like I need to do perhaps something a little bit more. I like that. Okay, so this one again you have to make the decision what to do, where to go. So maybe it'll, maybe it'll have a, um, that? When you watch people like on, on the Milky Way designs, it just looks so easy. And there's, she's such a creative person. Um, oh, it blows my mind, actually. Um, I just think, oh, I want to be to that standard. It's a bit like when you start a new job, I suppose, and you want to be good at it. But when you start, you're just sort of baffled by it and you're just in awe with everybody else who can just sort of fly through this, that and the other and um, know exactly what they're talking about, even though it sounds double Dutch to you. Um, if you get what I'm saying. So I'm just sort of tinkering really. You know, if you get like big like space like that, you can just sort of just swirl into it and just do a circle like that. And then here I can just sort of take that lead and go like that. It sort of is all, there's no right, there's no wrong. I'm gonna leave that because I, I really like that lacy effect there. I think I might go down into that. That's it. I'm going to leave that one. Remember I said I'm going to leave it. No going back. And the thing is, it's all in the drawing now because I really love these designs but oh, it's always a worry to me what they're going to dry like. Am I going to get loads of air bubbles? You know, is it just not working for me so comments and instruction are always welcome because everybody's learning all the time every day is a school day whether it's at work or at play if you hear if you heard a dog barking in between that's tessie my bulldog and brody my black golden doodle they both create when they feel like it. oh dear that's no good it? it's got the blue in there if it i've got a bit of sort of pinky there so i can sort of, you know you can bring paint from other places and put it where you want it there's nothing there's no oh that's not how you do it is it's all literally down to the individual and now this one now where will we go with this one um See, I've, I think I've potentially got some air bubbles there. So what I'm going to do is a little curly-whirly through there and hope it sort of disguises them. Bit of a trick, I suppose. But you want something to look nice, don't you? You don't want it to be wrecked. Um. Hmm. 
So hasn't that, see, that's not my, me being artistic. That is just the way the paint moves. The paint is the most creative thing because the colours blend and move depending, and, and no two people will do it the same, but no two people will be disappointed, I don't think. It's <laughs> a bit of a quirky one. So I think I'm going to, yeah. I like that. I like that very much. So folks, let me know what you think. Am I onto a winner? Or is it a big fat no? Um, yeah, let me know. Okay, thank you. I'm going to turn you off now and tomorrow is another day. Bye.